Hello fellow music makers, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. And in this video, we're going to get into a sample library by Eduardo Tarlante called Forest Kingdom 2. And Eduardo has created several different kinds of libraries and they're all very unique. And the main theme is a the title sort of tells you is it's about a forest kingdom and we have ancient sounds from ancient civilizations. There are a lot of um, instruments that have been recorded in this, unique instruments, organic instruments. And if we take a look at the, the interface, it's the best service engine. And if we go to the browser, there's Forest Kingdom 2. And some of the instruments, well, the instruments are divided into three categories, percussion, plucked, and wind. And we also have soundscapes. We have fantasy creatures. We have voices. We have swishes. And very importantly, we have performance grooves. Now, the nice thing about the performance grooves is they're MIDI editable. Editable. Okay, so you can load in the MIDI files and change them the way you like. So let's go ahead and take a look at more specifically at the instruments in the percussion section. There are many of them. As you can see, we have bada drums. We have a lot of percussion like that, jawbone, marimba. We have some metal percussion. We have ocean drums, folder with several categories there. There's a rain stick, rattle. We've got shakers lots of different shakers and not only that if i were to say load in a shaker you just double click on it then go to quick edit and you can see the interface so each key has a different articulation of the shaker and as you saw we had many different shakers 15 different ones, and then a shaker set, and uh, silo drum, snare drum, taiko. And then, just to name a few, you do. War drums, five sets of those, and if we were just to load in one patch, you see again we have Now the green keys down here actually pay a, play a MIDI pattern that's been that you have access to and can edit. There's another one. There's another one. And also notice that this patch consists of four drums. So this patch is layered with four different drums. And if you have your controller set up, you can actually go in and change the levels. And they're also CC learnable. So you can do MIDI learn and assign your, your key switches, or not key switches, but your controller knobs and controller dials, controller sliders. So, Getting back into the different instruments, we have the wind chimes, all kinds of those. So metal and wind chimes, wooden wind chimes. And if I were to go, say, into the metal wind chimes, and then take a look at that. Sort of what you would expect. And you have different articulations. Okay. 
And then moving along, we have wind tubes, two of those, wind tube chromatic. And so that's just a brief overview of the instruments in the percussion section. Then in the uh, pluck section, we have Celtic harps. We have electric Celtic harp, we have marimba, and we have music box. And we'll take a look at those in a multi that we'll talk about in a minute. And then in the wind category, we have lots of flutes, Aztec clay flutes, Bulgarian piccolo flute, didgeridoos, double flutes, full of flute. Um, and they all are unique sounding. And one of my favorite, we have the pan pipes. And then we have some PVC flutes and flute phrases and uh, wooden overtone flute, kale flute, made in China. So a lot of unique instruments in this, and they sort of fit into the category of ancient civilizations because they've been around for a long time. Now, in addition to all these instruments, we have soundscapes. And as you can see, we have an abundant of soundscapes. So let's go ahead and take a look at, well, let's look at the first one, Ancient Secrets. As you see, the, this pad actually has four pads, or three pads within it, which you can control with your MIDI controllers. So you can isolate the pads. So here's pad one. Here's pad two, pad three, and then you can combine them in any way you like with any level you want. So that's one pad. Here's a deep forest pad. Let's listen to that. So this one has four controllable pads, pad one, two, three, and four. And before we get lost in all the ambient sounds, organic ambient sounds, let's take a look at the Performance Browse Edition, okay? Or be Performance Groove Edition, sorry. But before we do that, let's take a look at the last two categories, or three categories. We have Fantasy Creatures. So here you have bird calls, lots of different kinds of bird calls. There's one all the way up to 20, and let's look at the last one. So each key, and the black keys are included, gives you a different kind of bird call. So absolutely amazing collection of bird calls, which fit in the the concept or the concept of forest kingdom. And so, in addition to the various kinds of birds. There's even more exotic hatchery birds. Um, we have beasts. We have, let's listen to the Lost Valley Beast. And we have small creatures. Okay, here's small creatures one. Swamp birds, white mountain gorilla, willow forest birds, so lots of flying creatures. Then we have the voices. Here's the ethereal female solo voice.
And then over here at C3, you have different articulations. Nice legato transitions. And we have uh, shamanic deep chants. The swishers are actually like a flute kind of a sound. An overblown, an overblown flute. And then in addition, then we get into the performance groups. So we just had a smattering of samples in each of those categories. So let's take a look at the performance groups. These really set it apart because what they have done is they've set, they've constructed a set of multis that work very well together from the library. So for example, if I press C2 in this case, it gives me a multi called Peaceful Night, 60 beats per minute in 3-4, and it'll go on for um, 8 to 14 measures depending on which which one you have, and you have all, you have access to all the MIDI files. And it's really easy to construct. So here's the Forbidden Fortress. I'll go through several of these quickly. We won't go through their entirety because it would take three hours altogether. So here we have the Jungle Blues. Welcome to Pandora. This is in 7-8. Serengeti Dream, 65 BPM, 7-8. Small winged creatures. Dark Horizon. Another one in 7-8. I really like this one, Starry Nights. I like all of them, actually, but this one has a special uh, charm to it. So it's called Story Nights, and I actually went ahead and let's see if I do have it. Story Nights. So let's go ahead and look at the multi. So what I did, and I'll get into how to do that, is I imported the MIDI file that came with it. And I set the tempo to match the tempo in the audition, which was about 70. Actually, I guess it's 78. I guess it is 70. Okay. So let's go ahead and play the sequence and you'll see it sounds just like the audition. Nine measures long. So what's cool about this is you can play along with it. I'll go ahead and uh, set up a loop. And I'll go ahead and pick the... Now this multi consists of a frame drum, drum Shakir, 
Dembe, Tune Bell 3, China Symbol, Exotic Harp. And if we go into the multi itself, here's the frame drum. Okay, that's in this channel here. And if I look at the keys, here's the actual key structure. And if you see these green keys down here at C1, they actually give you a MIDI sequence, which you can access that individually as well. So let's go back to the beginning of it, and I'll just go ahead and take the exotic harp, which is part of it. It's one of the tracks. It's actually called the fairy harp in the uh, in the individual instruments. So here's I'm playing the cue, and then I'll add stuff to the exotic harp. And if you want, you can add your own instrument or choose another instrument from the Eduardo Terralonte library. So, and you could, you don't, you're not confined to that library. You could go ahead and add some of the solo instruments you like, or possibly even strings. Maybe you want to add strings to it. So moving along, in our audition. So we left off here. Really interesting rhythms. Pretty ominous. So we're gradually moving up in tempo. Now we're at eighty four. So that's the, the end of those tempos there. Now let's go back to the performance grooves. So we basically went, so here's 100 BPM. And look how many grooves you have in that.
So here's Banished, and I happen to do, I happen to import the MIDI files for this one and the multi. So let's take a look at that real quick. So I'm activating the project. So here's Banished. And what I did is I actually added an instrument to solo on the pen flute. But the MIDI files, you actually have many of them, as you can see. You've got your metallic, all the way down to metallic hits. And I added in this last track here, the pan flute. So let's go ahead and hear that. And I'll just go ahead and improvise a little solo over it. So that just gives you an idea what you can do with these multis and you can modify, you can extend it because you have all the MIDI files right there. Let's see, there's a Amazonian princess is another multi that I, I looked at. Let's go ahead and activate that. And then I'll show you how to go ahead and create the uh, multis with the MIDI files. They're actually already constructed. You just have to make them active. So here's this cue. It's called the Amazonian Princess. Actually, yeah, it's 120 BPM. So you've got a nice rhythmic thing going there for you automatically, the percussion's there. You can hear the shakers. Here's your shaker right here. One, two, three. So here's the actual layer. Now this little at C2, this orange button, sort of, that you see in the uh, keyboard, what that's used for, it's very useful because if I press down on it, it automatically remembers the last articulation that I chose. So you can use it to go back and forth. Actually, this particular percussion isn't the best example. But uh, let's look at the marimbola. Here you have the frame drum. So this would be a good example because you have sort of a staccato hit. So if I employ the C2, I can do things like this. I couldn't do that with just one key, right? So it gives you that. Here's another pitch. And 
sorry about the noisy keyboard. But uh, so that's what you can do with the frame drum. So, so this, all these mini files are from the Amazonian Princess. Let's listen to it. And then I've added a couple of solo instruments from Eduardo Taralante's library, the music box, which is available, which sounds like this. And I use the Mozano flute. which has some really interesting articulations. So, and this is what it looks like here. So right now we're on legato and these key switches down here, there's a gliss down, there's staccato. If you take the keys off, then it's the false legato. Gliss up. Appoggiatoria up. Trill, short trill, flutter. So let's go ahead and listen to it in context with the cue. So they're going to combine the music box and the flute together. So you can do all kinds of things and you can bring in instruments from other sample libraries, other engines, like we could use the contact engine and then maybe you could do strings would be a nice uh, addition as well. So getting back to how to get one of these multis in, let's go back and take a look at our basic engine. It's nothing more than just one instance of the engine with the Forest Kingdom library. So the way you do the methodology is you go into Forest Kingdom 2 and then you look at your performance grooves. Let's do a category we haven't looked at yet. Let's say 122 to 130. Then you go to Quick Edit. And then these keys starting down here at C2 give you all of these different grooves. Then you just pick one you like. Go 
actually this one's rather full. So, Exiled from Paradise. Okay, so the first step, once you find a groove you want, click any, on the, any of these green keys and that'll stop it from playing. So, Exiled from Paradise. So the first step is to go into your browser projects. Remember, we're looking for Exiled from Paradise, so that would be under E. So there it is, Exiled from Paradise. Mm -hmm. Double click. So we're loading the project. So that gives us the multi with all the instruments we were listening to. And as you can see, there's quite a few. So then you go into your Incubase, you go and import your MIDI file. Again, we're looking for Exiled from Paradise. You want to stay in the same project. And here's where the MIDI, and you'll, you have performance grooves on your Forest Kingdom 2 library, that directory is where you go. So under Exiled, CD. You import that. And the tempo for this one is, um, looks like 130. So I probably want to bump my tempo up to 130 to conform to it. And then if you notice, all of my MIDI tracks are automatically assigned and you can tell what the instruments are. You have a goblin forest, you have a digital forest, a tune bell, wind tube, chromatic, taiko, war drum, marimba, marimbola, metallic hits. So if I just play that, it should sound just like what we heard before. So if you want to pick a solo instrument, you can use one of the existing ones. That could work. So could that. That's just drums, that's okay, percussion. So. Or. If I want, I can add another instrument. Like, for example, here's your, the way this works in best service with a multi, you just go up here and add a layer. Then once you've added the layer, then you go to your browser and then go to layers. And then under instruments, we can choose from any one of the instruments that are in the library. And let's go ahead and do a wind. And let's go ahead and do our pan pipes. And I'll do the full set. And then you have to add a MIDI track to, a, to reference that new layer we just added. And if you notice, the metallic hits was, looks like eight, so that's nine. And there's your flute, and actually it's got the breathing in it, which you can adjust if you get a quick edit. There's the... So now I've got a solo instrument I can use. So if we go back to the beginning of the cue,
So that gives you an idea of the capabilities of the Forest Kingdom 2, a good sampling of many other patches and multis. So if you like this video, then please click like. If you wish to subscribe and get notified when a new video comes out, then please subscribe. So this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music, signing off. Thank you.